no images or no likenesses of anything in heaven above, on the earth, or under the earth. Now, basically what the second commandment prohibits is, is four things. The production of images, idols, the possessing of images, idols, the praising of images and idols, and the purchasing of them. It says have no likeness of anything. Now, either the Bible says what the Bible says, or it doesn't. If you reject my preaching, then you're rejecting the Bible. You're rejecting the Word of God because the Word of God says what it says and it means what it says. And there was a reason that Father God, the Creator, said what He said. There was a purpose for Him saying because people make games. They're God. I don't care if it's tennis. I used to let God literally be my God. I was so into golf. I was so into golf. I used to let it be my God. The Masters is coming up at Augusta National. Very soon, the Masters is coming up. People will gather at Augusta National and they will yell and they will cheer for Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, whoever their favorite player is, Brooks Kepka, Bryson DeChambeau. They'll, they'll cheer at Wimbledon. They'll cheer for their favorite tennis star at football. They'll, they'll cheer, they'll shout, they'll yell in soccer. In soccer, game, you see, it's games or God. They'll yell and they'll cheer for their favorite soccer star, football star. But then they'll comment and they'll say, Brother Mike, don't yell about Jesus. Don't scream for Jesus. Don't shout about Jesus. Be quiet, Brother Mike. We see they have an idol problem. They'll yell and shout and scream for sports, but not for the Savior. And that's why God said what he said about images. Now, it applies to electronic images as well. It applies to the television, the movie, the motion picture, videos. Because why? Because that becomes your God. That becomes your God. It becomes the focus of your life. And you worship what you watch. You praise what you possess. And so God as the Father says, no. You should spend your time reading the Bible, witnessing, preaching, praying, helping other people in the real world, not in a fake visual video virtual world. But instead, we should learn verses of scriptures, values, and virtues from the open ocean. This is evangelist Mike Dial reminding you Jesus is still the answer. Amen and amen.